The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me, do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced the children and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's gospel, our Lord says, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. So whenever our Lord tells us about things that are necessary for salvation, we need to pay a lot of attention. And so here he says, it is necessary to accept the kingdom of God like a child, or else you will not enter it. And so how are we to understand that? What does that mean to accept the kingdom of God like a child? Well, St. John Paul II has a wonderful commentary on this passage in his letter to the faithful, talking about the lay vocation. This is the 1988 letter, Christi Fidelis Laici, paragraph 47, when he says, that children are models of the spiritual disposition required to enter the kingdom of heaven. So we want to have this spiritual disposition. Children are the eloquent symbol and exalted image of those moral and spiritual conditions that are essential for entering into the kingdom of God and for living the logic of total confidence in the Lord. So childlike confidence in God. The child's simplicity, trust, and openness to receive from God rather than pride and self-reliance is the attitude that Jesus calls us to emulate to enter the kingdom. We must have humble trusting and the dependent spirit of a child rather than relying on on our own merits, or our own skills, our own status. The child's receptivity to God's grace is the model for how all must approach the kingdom. Do we have this spiritual childhood? <clears throat> this is the spirituality of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, who was named a doctor of the church. And it was her mission to teach this spirituality to the church. We could say that that spirituality was even present in uh, her holy mother, St. Teresa of Avila. Remember how much St. Teresa of Avila liked to uh, say of herself, I am a daughter of the church. So this needs to be our relationship with Holy Mother Church, with God our Father, and with Mary, our mother, to have this childlike disposition towards the church, towards God, and towards Our Lady. If we do that, if we have that, well, we're satisfying that condition to enter the kingdom of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.